what is going on guys, Smooth Racing here, back with a brand new video, and today we have a F1 2014 Hungarian GP review. This was round 11 of the F1 2014 season, we've been treated to some absolute amazing races this year, and the Hungary Grand Prix did not fail to deliver. It was an absolute amazing race, especially at the end with a three-way battle for the lead, something we have not seen um, this season all we've seen really is the battle between the two Mercedes and you know sort of at Canada Ricardo was you know it's kind of Ricardo versus Rosberg but this time we saw a proper through eight fight for the you know the lead and it was certainly a cracker from start to finish so quickly we'll just run through the race result then while well, Daniel Ricardo won his second race of the year he was in first behind Alonso Hamilton Rosberg Massa Raikkonen and Vettel Bottas Verne and Button nicked the last point just Behind, just ahead of Adrian Sutil, just a second separating those two, and it was a really good drive from Sutil, I thought. And then it came Magnussen, Maldonado, Fiat, Chilton, and then Gutierrez, Kobayashi, Hulkenberg, Grosjean, Ericsson, and Perez all retired. So the race started then, and it was an electrifying start with Rosberg leading very nicely away from Bottas and Vettel. And then as the race went on, everyone pretty much maintained positions. Um, until Marcus Ericsson managed to ditch his car into the wall. Everyone started on the intermediate tyres and then, um, you know, many were soon switching to dry tyres when Ericsson crashed and then he in turn brought out the safety car. Everyone then went finally around then and Rosberg was probably one of the biggest losers and certainly Bottas was the biggest loser. He dropped out of the top 10 and Rosberg was down in fourth. However, Jensen Button and Kevin Magnussen had actually opted to stay on the intermediate tyres and try and uh, work up a lead and hoping that rain was going to be falling in the next 10 minutes. So that's what they were told anyway. But then Caterham confirmed that there'd be no rain and um, Button and Magnussen were left stranded out on the track. Button had managed to get into the lead of the race, but soon his just his inters hit the cliff, as did Magnussen. Both of them came in to ditch their intermediate tyres, leaving Ricardo to lead the race. And he managed to get a very big gap to actually none other than John McVern, funny enough, who managed to come through into second place. Then sadly he dropped back as another safety car was brought out as Sergio Perez crashed and within, that's something I forgot to mention, within the Ericsson crash, Grosjean also crashed. But anyway, I'm sure a lot of you know what happened in the race and basically it, you know, sort of developed onto there. You know, so much happened it's even hard to remember all that happened. But anyway, it case basically came down to the last 10 laps where, when Rosberg pitted. He then came out fourth and then the top three were Alonso, Hamilton and Ricardo and beautifully Ricardo managed to get past Hamilton and then Alonso and then he even managed to get a five second gap before beautifully winning the second race of the season and the second race of his career. It's also a perfectly measured drive from Alonso to keep those tyres ahead of Hamilton even though Hamilton you know had a lot faster car you know if you just look at the last lap of the race you know they were so evenly matched even though Hamilton has a car you know a second quicker than Alonso and then, you know, it was just a really good drive from Alonso, I thought, and, um, you know, beautifully to hold on to second. Rosberg got right behind Hamilton, but just couldn't make the passes. He only caught up to him on the last lap. He did manage to catch, though, 20 seconds in about 10 laps. So a really good drive from Rosberg. But I think just strategy and the first safety car really cost him. Further down was Felipe Massa. Actually, with a really good strategy, it turned out in the end, um, to finish fifth. He was based on the same strategy as Alonso. But, um, you know, there were sort of different parts on the track. Alonso was quite far ahead, but Massa still managed to make that work. And he takes home 10 points from this race, which will certainly be very pleased coming into the summer break. And I do believe he moves up into ninth in the driver's standings ahead of Kevin Magnussen. Moving on then, Kimi Raikkonen managed to get up to 6th, and that was his best result of the season so far, and certainly a race to remember for Kimi Raikkonen. He was just two seconds behind of Massa as they came over the line. A really calm and measured drive from Raikkonen. Some, you know, we sort of saw the seeing the old self of Raikkonen, but we really do want to be seeing more of. So hopefully this is a sign of things to come, but it will be improving going into the second half of the season. Vettel had a bit of drama in the middle of the race as he span. But no, somehow he managed to recover that car um, to do a 360 spin. He lost places to, um, I believe, both Mercedes and his teammate Ricardo. But ultimately, a really bad strategy once again from Vettel meant he dropped down to 7th. Although a good call from him was to stay out and not pit again. That meant he gained another place ahead of Valtteri Bottas, who had an awful um, race, considering he was 2nd after lap 1. 
He managed to drop through the field down to 8th after the first safety car, he was outside the top 10, managed to work his way back up again, right behind his teammate, but then had to pin again, and that's where he lost his position to Vettel. In 9th was Vern, a very good drive from him, considering that Toro Rosso is nowhere near the likes of um, McLaren, who he finished ahead of, and he had a good healthy 6 seconds, sorry, 8 seconds lead over Jensen Button, who finished in 10th. Just ahead of Adrian Suttil, these two were basically in running line astern for pretty much half the race. Suttil would have been in the points if it would have not been for the um, early drama of the safety car, where Suttil lost out so much, just like Rosberg and Bottas. Without that, Suttil could have been in the points, and Sauber could have scored their first points of the season, so a crucial mistake. Um, so it's crucial, but a bad luck really. Nothing Sutil or Sauber really could have done, but a really good drive from Sutil. Definitely his best driver of the season to manage to finish ahead of Kevin Magnussen, who had a pretty dismal race. Him and Button, of course, um, you know, went onto those sayed out, sorry, on the intermediate tyres. That didn't really work. I think it was Button will just be pleased to get a point. But they really just did not have the pace in the whole race with, um, you know, Sutil consistently setting faster laps than Button, but just not being able to get by, you know, considering McLaren had that Mercedes engine. It was so tough for Sutil to get past. McLaren, something just really went wrong this race. Um, I think hopefully they'll come back, you know, fighting at Spa, but a really bad day for McLaren. In 13th was Maldonado, who got into his fair share of a bit of drama with Bianchi. Then it was Fiat in 14th, then it was the two Marushas, Bianchi and Chilton, and um, Fiat, Bianchi and Chilton were all that down. Um, Gutierrez retired, sadly, with a failure. He was actually running in the points. Um, then he made a mistake, Sutil managed to get past him, uh, but then um, he did, Gutierrez in the end did retire. Kobayashi just stopped at the side of the track under the safety car. Um, he obviously just had a problem. Hulkenberg made a mistake. He made a lot of errors in that, you know, the lap he retired. He hit his teammate. Luckily, no damage for Perez. But of course, just a few laps later, Perez would end up into the wall and also Hulkenberg out as well. Um, just out of the side of the track. He just went straight on, I think, into the barrier. And Grosjean and Ericsson both crashed. Grosjean somehow managing to crash into a safety car. But yeah, that's pretty much it that I've been for everyone's race. And it was a really good race for me. I'd say now nine out of ten, you know, with the wet weather really helping at the start, and then just so many, you know, different people leading the race. It was such an exciting race, and it was, you know, strange to think that Ricardo managed to hold on ahead of the Mercedes, and you know, didn't just hold on, but he outclassed the Mercedes. A superb drive from Ricardo, got to be my driver of the day. Um, Alonso as well, a fantastic drive. I think, you know, I'll just go through now and give them all ratings out of ten. Ricardo definitely ten out of ten. In Alonso, ten out of ten. Hamilton eight. I think he did a really good job, you know, to come through from the pit lane. Nothing much more he could really do, um, you know, perhaps. Although I think it was crucial he should have got past Alonso when he could have done and he failed and he missed that opportunity. Rosberg, I'd probably give him a 7. Just really been a bit of bad luck, um, but, you know, and not been able to get past Hamilton at the end really hurt him. Just a bit of bad luck, I think, and a bit of poor strategy. Massa definitely an 8, one of his final races of the season. Reichen, I'm going to give him an 8 as well. Um, Vettel. You know, just bad strategy from the team once again. Seems to be a regular pattern for Vettel. But a good call from him. That spin, though, has put him down to a 7. Bottas, um, I don't even know what he really did wrong. But, you know, the inability to pass Vettel, despite being a faster car, puts him down also on a 7. Verne gets an 8. Button, um, you know, a bad call from the team. And he suffered as well. He gets a 7. Sutil gets an 8 for a solid drive to 11th. Magnussen gets a 7, like Button. Uh, Maldonado gets a five um, for some contact, and you know had he been further, had he not made that contact, he maybe he could have been in the points. Fiat just really unlucky. He gets a seven, and also the two Marushas both. Oh, so Bianchi gets a six, and Chilton gets a seven. The seven, but um, that pretty much rounds out this video. Then I've given the race a nine out of ten, and my driver of the day is Ricardo, and also Alonso a close second behind him. Anyway, be sure to leave your race rating out of ten below in the comment section below and also do your driver of the day there as well. But as we racing, thank you so much for watching. There will be some um, half term reports coming from F1, GP2, GP3, WRC and MotoGP so be sure to subscribe for them and be sure of course to enter my giveaway which has just got a few days left to run. Anyway, I've been to be racing and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.